So, it's different, yay! But, there we go. Oh, this is one of my favorite pictures of Taylor ever. Iconic photo, love this so much. That is yellow. So that is 1989 Taylor's version. Hello and welcome to my channel. So it is officially 1989 Taylor's version day. So I'm splitting this video up into two parts simply because not all of them have arrived, but this one is all CDs. So we're doing an unboxing of 1989 Taylor's version. This video is just gonna focus on the CDs and these are the ones with the Polaroids, not with the posters with the Polaroids. And then when the rest of the vinyl come tomorrow, I will do a video unboxing that. So far I've only got the Aquamarine one. So I have ordered all of the vinyl variants. So I've ordered the Aquamarine green, which has arrived, the Rose Garden pink, which has not yet arrived, the Tangerine, the Sunrise Boulevard yellow, and I'm actually going to HMV to pick up the Crystal Skies one. Because what I like to do is not order one of them off the website. Simply then, so on release date, I can go to the store and pick it up myself. It's kind of been a tradition I've done since like Red. So I do really like going to the store on release day because usually they're playing the songs. So yeah. Um, and I just, 1969 has such a special place in my heart. As you know, it's the era I met Taylor Swift in. Like, I just love it so much. I remember literally picking this album up, 1989, on the day it was released, all the way back in 2014, like nine years ago today. I was 14 years old, I'm now 23. So it's kind of like a full circle moment. It, it means a lot to me, this album, and I'm really glad that we get to go through this era again. And I've really loved getting to experience these songs for the first time again after having so many kind of different life experiences. Like I'm in a completely different place now than when I was when I was obviously 14. And it's good to experience these things again for the first time. It's it's really cool. And then obviously the vault tracks as well. Anyway, let's go do some unboxing. So we're gonna start off with the Crystal Skies Blue. This is the original version of 1989 Taylor's version. This is the normal kind of standard edition. This is the cover that you're gonna see on Apple Music, Spotify, those sort of things. This is mainly the cover you're gonna see in shops, but some shops do have the other variants as well. So this is what it looks like. For any Anyone curious this CD was made in Germany there's no like hype stick or anything on this I really did think they were gonna put one on simply because this is the one with the Polaroids with the actual um, ones with the posters that does have a little sticker on it has a little hype sticker on anyway let's try to open these up one thing about CDs is there are they're a lot easier to open than vinyl I find vinyl quite difficult to open especially because you never want to damage it where CDs are a bit more easy I think because they're less likely to damage I th well, most of the time anyway, because um, like it depends if the plastic cracks, because I've had it where I've ordered like CDs online and the plastic has, you know, the jewel cases come cracked. Be good if I could open it, wouldn't it? I said this now and now I can't open it. That, that was my own fault, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, we've got it, we've got it. So sometimes when I have these, I keep the plastic wrapping just because it has the hype sticker on and stuff. But because this is no hype sticker, this will be going in the bin. There we go. But it's open there we go so this is the cd the gorgeous jewel case i do like jewel case cds i know a lot of artists are kind of moving to the paper ones but i think jewel cases will always be my favorite there you go so this is what it looks like the track the track list is actually really hard to read um you can see can you you can see it there obviously it's a little bit reflective so i'm just going to put it to the side but the track list is actually quite hard to read um but i love this cover this cover is I didn't think anything could beat the original version of 1989 because it just has such a special place in my heart. You know, I grew up with it. I think when you're 14, 15, it's kind of like a big deal in your life, you know, like everything's kind of changing and stuff. So it was so special to me, but like, I love this one. She looks so happy. Um, do I like that she, she's changed the aesthetic to like a beach? I do like it, but 1989 for me will always be a city. 1989 is New York for me. But that's just my opinion. Ah, oh, there we go. This is what the CD looks like. This one definitely, you know, it's giving the uh, 1989 the normal like, original version with the seagull. So if you don't know the original version of 1989, the CD had a seagull on. So there you go. So one thing I really like about Taylor Swift albums is this bit behind the CD. I think it is often forgotten about. So I always like to make sure that I take the CD off so you can see it. This is the actual CD itself. Let me just get it. There you go. So that's what the CD looks like really nice and they are all different colors so obviously the different covers have different color cds which is good uh, so that is the gorgeous cd that is the blue and let's have a look so these are the polaroids uh, do we do lyric booklet first or polaroid first i'll do i'm going to save the polaroids let's do lyric booklet first so this is the lyric booklet usually with the lyric booklet it is the same in every single one it's just that front image that's different um so in midnight that was kind of the case um, there you go, so this is the lyric booklet, really, she's so pretty, 
Um, there we go. So we've got the album prologue and these gorgeous pages. I'm so glad we've got a proper photo shoot for this. I think this one has, out of all of Taylor's version, this one has the most photo shoot. Um, so Speak Now had a bit of a photo shoot, you know, it had a few pictures, but this one's actually got loads and loads of pictures, of you, as you can see here. And I also like this, this is when a lyric booklet is kind of like a gatefold vinyl, so I imagine when I open the vinyl, this is what the vinyl will look like when you open it, so I do really like that. Um, but yeah, really great. I love that we've got a proper photo shoot. Look, TS89, look at that on the beach! But yeah, with Fearless Taylor's version, it was the first one. We didn't really get a proper photo shoot, we just got like two photos from it. Whereas with Red, we got a few more, but it was still kind of like a mix with the Evanwell photo shoot. With Speak Now, obviously we got more, and now in 989 we've got loads, which is just fantastic. And I think it's because Taylor originally said this was a passion project, and then she saw how much people love this. Because I think she underestimated how much fans would love going back to these eras and would support Taylor's version, because of course we would. We support Taylor's version in this house. Do I read the prologue or do I save it for the vinyl video? That's really, really beautiful. As someone who has been here since 2014 and has witnessed all this and stuff, that, that was a really, really good album prologue that may be my new favorite album prologue ever that was yeah that was fantastic that was that was a good album prologue I'm not gonna cry I actually it, it did leak yesterday so like obviously people get like CDs and stuff early so the prologue leaks but I didn't I didn't want to read it I wanted to read it kind of for myself holding the vi holding the CD in my hand because I just I wouldn't believe it was real until I had it and anyway I forgot Polaroids so this is what they come in um, I do actually have some of the original Polaroids here as well that I can compare them to. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, so they're definitely different. Um, there are not as many of them that came as the original, but we've got... Oh, new photos! And the high quality as well. Oh, so these are the ones that come with the Crystal Skies. I will show you. So, can I get it to focus? Yeah. And that's the back. I'm also going to get an actual Polaroid from the original version as well to kind of show you the difference. So this is really cool. So these are a lot of outtakes from actually the original 1989 photo shoot that we've just not seen before. So this is really cool. Um, and then that's that. Sorry, it's not focusing the best. Oh, I do love these photos though. Iconic. And then last but not least... There you go. So they all have lyrics on and then they have a picture on the front. So these aren't actual Polaroids, these are like paper, this is what they feel like. Now these feel more like the ones that came with the deluxe version. So when 1989 came out originally it came with Polaroids. Now they had, in the normal version they were kind of plasticky but in the deluxe version they were kind of papery and slightly bigger. So let me show you. So this is an example of the Polaroid that came with the original version of 1989. This, as you can see, it's kind of plasticky. You got, I think it was 13 in each pack. Uh, and there was five to collect all together. So as you can see here, it's kind of like plasticky. You might be able to hear it. Um, and it's obviously got like a shiny finish to it. And then it says it's more on the back. It's more like it was an actual Polaroid. Okay. So these are some of the original ones because I obviously have them. I obviously have kept them. So these are the original Polaroids. And you can see that this these ones are photo shoots. The photo shoot that she did for the original version of 1989 rather than like new versions so that's really cool so yeah this is one that came with the deluxe version it's like a papery one it's still got that thing on the back that looks more like a polaroid whereas these look more just like little kind of keepsakes they don't look as much like a polaroid um but they definitely are kind of similar this is probably a slightly thicker material so you can see that there if you're just curious for the full comparison obviously i'm not complaining like i do really like this but it's definitely they're not as high quality as they were last time, which is just a fact, like, it's not an issue. Like, I do like that they've still done this. I think it's nice that they've done this and the fact they are ones from the vault as well is really cool. Um, so yeah, really, really like that. Gorgeous, really happy with that. And let's go open the rest of them. Next up, we've got the Sunrise Boulevard Yellow. So this is another gorgeous color here. Let's try open this. They've all got different covers and all got different back covers. And like Midnight's, the back covers all make something. So they all make a 1989, which is so cool. This is another one of those ones with the Polaroids in. So let's have a quick look at this. Let's try opener. So unfortunately, the packaging they came in wasn't great. So I ordered it from Taylor's store and the packaging they came in was this. There was no bubble wrap or anything inside. So unfortunately, some of them do have cracks on already, which is a little bit disappointing because um, obviously they're brand new and stuff. And you'd think they put bubble wrap, but they were all CDs all just together. So it was kind of inevitable they were going to get a little bit cracked, which is sad. But anyway, we're not going to complain. We're happy here. We are happy. So this is the Sunrise Boulevard Yellow. So that is the front cover, that is the back cover. And you can see it's got a nine there for obviously to make the 989 when they're all together. Really, really gorgeous photo. Love this so much. That is yellow. 
I don't think it's not coming up. Okay, there you go. You can see how yellow it is. So you can see it is a different version. It's got a different CD there. Obviously, it is yellow. Do you like that they're really keeping with that colour theme there? And then you've got the same thing behind the CD as well. Just guess what? In yellow. So the little pack that the Polaroid comes in is like this. I think... Are these different images? I think they are. So the image on the back of the CD lyric booklet is the same image that's on the back uh, of like the track list bit. So basically, as you can see here, they are slightly different. Um, there you go. So this one's that image, which is the one on the back. So this is the Crystal Skies one. And then this one is that. So really like that. It's good when they just make extra things different, I think. I think it just kind of makes it when it's just... It's just little things like that that I really like as someone who collects them. So I've had a few comments like of people being like, why do you have multiple copies isn't it the exact same like album same songs yes but i collect taylor swift cds i have done for like years um now i have multiple copies of the original version of 1989 and it's just because it's something i like to collect like i enjoy collecting it it's something i like doing and it doesn't cause anyone any harm so there we go this is the lyric booklet are they oh i think they're different oh oh my gosh this is so exciting so it's different, yay! Oh my gosh, can you tell how excited I am? So usually the lyric booklets always have the same images in, but they've got different ones! <gasps> That's so exciting. So this is the Sunrise Boulevard. This is the um, Crystal Skies. <gasps> oh, that's so good. Is the album prologue? Yes, the album prologue's exactly the same. That's good, because it's such a beautiful one. Oh, and then the inside, the color is yellow. And we've got, is that the same image? No, they're all different, yay! Can you tell I'm excited? So they are slightly similar, but like, oh, that's so good. Oh, I'm so happy with that. This is a proper, this is a proper album photo shoot. And then this bit in the middle, these, it's different, it's different. Oh, and I bet the vinyl is the same. So I bet when you open the vinyl, they'll be different inside on the gatefolds. Oh, that's so good. Also, some of these photos are so nice. I love these. I hope we get high quality versions of this. Oh, I love that picture. Oh, this is so good. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm honestly, I'm really impressed with that. Like this, it's so rare that they do different lyric booklets when there's different versions. Like it's always like pretty much exactly the same. So 10 out of 10. Oh, that's so good. Can you tell I'm very excited about that? I am a massive loser when it comes to Taylor Swift things. I just, I love her. I love Taylor Swift. I love little things like that that's just oh that's cool so it's good because then when you spend the money it's it's nice when it's more things that are different they're in, it's nice and these are the polaroids for this sunrise boulevard yellow so it opens up like that there we go oh so these are nice pictures you can see them here oh they're so pretty also what i like about these is a lot of these photos originally we only got on polaroid so you couldn't really tell our outfit details that much Whereas this, obviously now you can, because they're, they're higher quality rather than ones taken on an actual Polaroid camera. Also big fan of the handwritten lyrics on the back of them as well. So cute. But yeah, 1989 is a city album, Taylor Swift. It's not a beach album. <laughs> I refuse to believe it. Oh, these are so beautiful. I'm so, honestly, I'm really impressed with this. It's just nice when so much effort's been put into it. Like it's clear, like it was made Taylor Swift albums are so just they are made for physical versions like I know a lot of people don't really collect physical things anymore like physical CDs or vinyl anything I always will I obviously I, I subscribe I subscribe to Apple Music and Spotify actually and I still collect Taylor Swift albums I still collect the vinyl the CD and same with Maisie Peters and stuff like I just love having a physical thing it's just a nice thing to have I love collecting them and they're just special to me. So yeah, those are the first two. And now we've got still got two more to go. Next up, we've got the Aquamarine Green. This is actually the one we have the vinyl for. So that's the only vinyl that has arrived so far. But we are saving that for later. Also, all of these CDs all say made on Germany in the back for anyone who's curious. I know CDs, it's not as big of a deal where they're made from. With vinyl, it is more of a deal simply because different places tend to press them differently um so you get a slightly different color variant depending on where it's from so people who are like proper proper vinyl collectors who like variant collect and stuff they look out for where vinyls are actually from um but just if anyone's curious in terms of the cd this one that i bought from the uk store these are all from germany so with this plastic wrap there's no hype sticker so we can just rip you off oh and this is the aquamarine green love this great photo by the way absolutely obsessed what flavor ice cream is that it kind of looks like strawberry 
because it's got a slight pink tint to it. So I imagine it's strawberry. What's everyone's favorite ice cream flavor? Mine's mint chocolate chip, which I feel is appropriate now given the fact this is a green one. But yeah, there it goes, this is green. Really nice colors. I really love the, um, the pasteliness of this. Yeah, I'm just a huge fan of the fact they're different. I just, I love that. I'm, yeah, huge fan. So we've got this green CD there. There you go, that's what that looks like behind. Just so gorgeous, I love this color. I'm usually not a green person, but whenever Taylor Swift releases something that's green, it's really nice. Like the Jade Green Midnight's version is so nice. And now this Aquamarine Green, gorgeous. Let's try to get this lyric booklet. Lyric booklets are so difficult to get out. That is my one criticism of CDs. Got it, we've got it, there you go. So this is what it looks like. That's the back cover of the lyric booklet. Again, different photos, look! Sorry, I'm like proper freaking out over this, like being a little nerd. Um, so then that first thing, that is a green, gorgeous color. More photos, I'm loving this photo shoot, it's so nice. It's still a City album though, don't forget it. <laughs> oh, absolutely stunning pictures. Oh, I love it so much. They should release a Frisbee if she's got a Frisbee. They should have a 989 Taylor's version Frisbee. But yeah, some absolutely gorgeous pics of this. I'm gonna have to go to a beach to take some pictures. I feel like now it's autumn though, I don't think the beach will look like that in the UK. And that's a great picture to finish off the lyric booklet. And then there you have that. So nice. I am, I am a big fan. So let me pop that lyric booklet back in there. So if you do, if you're new to CDs or whatever, like if you're younger, I know some people who followed me are like younger and stuff, you might not have grown up with them. When you're putting the CDs in, make sure you're careful of these bad boys. You wanna get the CD below them. So you wanna get it underneath these like plastic bits here just cause it keeps it in place and protects them. If you put it over them, then it can damage this lyric booklet. It's just paper, so it will just damage them cause it'll just get little marks where you've kind of pushed it in. So just be aware of that if you are new to CDs. Uh, I don't know if anyone is, I don't know, but just in case you are, um, but yeah. Also, I, the only, again, another criticism. No, I don't have many, I promise. Um, the track list is a bit hard to read. I think because it's quite, yeah, I find that quite difficult to read. It's all a bit close together, but it's still really nice. I'm not complaining, well, I, I complained a little, but I'm trying not to. <laughs> um, so there we go, little thing there. Ah, oh, so good. So. Yeah, lots of nice lyrics on these. And you've got the back of them as well. There you go. Oh, I love it so much. And last but not least. Oh, that's so good. Honestly, that is such a me face as well. There is probably, I think there's a picture out of me. I feel like there's a picture of me somewhere where I look vaguely, I have this face, I have this exact thing. So that is my new favorite one. I I love that because it just, it gives me vibes. You're gonna be thinking, Rachel, like, I know it looks nothing like me, but there is a picture of me somewhere. I know there is a picture of me somewhere that looks like this, almost. Like obviously not exactly like it, but a little bit, a little teeny tiny bit. So I'm taking it, that's my new favorite one. Obviously you know me. I have saved the best till last. I have saved the rose garden pink till last because as you know, I'm a pink girl. I love the color pink. It is my favorite color. So she is last and I'm very excited for this. So this is the one I wanted the most. When they released the vinyl for this, I got it immediately. Like I got all the other vinyls immediately, but this one I was like ready for it just in case it sold out. Um, but thankfully they brought them all back in stock, but I did manage to get them all in the first release. Um, but they still didn't come in time for release day, which is a bit of a shame. Come on, see. I said CDs were easy to open and now I just cannot open them for the life of me. There we go, we've got a bit of plastic. You just have to get that first little bit off and then they're easy to open-ish. <laughs> I say that now and it's just like, nope. Unfortunately, this is one that didn't make it in the post. She has a little bit of a crack on, which I'm, I'm gonna pretend I'm not sad about, but I'm a little bit sad. I might tell the store and be like, hello, can you just send me a new case, please? Uh, but yeah, so. Yeah, it is. it's a bit cracked, which is a shame, but it's okay. It's not the end of the world. It's You probably can't even see it. That's fine. It's not the end of the world. Here it is. It's not. Uh, so here we go. This is the pink version, the rose garden pink. Absolutely stunning. I, this is my, apart from the original, like the one with Taylor's face on, this is my favorite of all the pictures. I just, I love it so much. So we've got this pink, gorgeous pink CD here. And then the back pink. This is the little Polaroid holder. Um, I wouldn't really call them Polaroids this time. I'd just call them kind of like mini collectible prints because they're not Polaroids like they were last time. Obviously last time they weren't 
actual Polaroids, but they were like printed like Polaroids more. And the fact they had the back bit that was like made them look like a Polaroid, but they're still really nice. They're a nice collector's item. So there we go. Here we have this gorgeous lyric booklet. The different pictures. Sorry, I'm way too excited about that. Um, oh, it's quite like a, a very faint pink on this. So it is pink, but it's very faint. Um, there you go, some more lovely pictures. So can you see it? I feel like they get darker, the colours, as you go through, because it was really faint on that first one. Um, and then it's got slightly darker. So, oh, it's gorgeous colours. I'm loving like the sunset kind of vibes on the pictures. There you go, and the last one, that's like a darker pink, so it's, you can see it more there. Iconic. What a legend. I love that so much. Oh, beautiful. And then, last but not least, we've got our final set of Polaroids to look through. Again, they're not really... Well, I don't even know if they were described as Polaroids. It did just say photos from the vault. Um, so, yes, let's have a look at these. There we go. So we've got this gorgeous picture. Obsessed. It's so cool to finally get, like, high-quality versions of these when, like, before we only had the Polaroid ones, which were obviously not like the clearest in the world. This is one of my favourite pictures of Taylor ever. I love it so much. It's just, this was like the first kind of image we got of the 1989 era when she was promoting the live stream where she wasn't going to announce it. So I just love it so much. And there you go. That is everything. That is everything you get in the deluxe versions of 1989 with these like Polaroid bits in fantastic i really love these they are so nice they put so much effort into these i'm excited to see what the vinyl look like as well um because the cds are absolutely fantastic i think the fact they've done different pictures on the lyric booklet's really good my only criticism um i would say it is a little bit disappointing the quality of these i think they're not the highest quality especially if you're comparing them to what you got back in 2014 with the Polaroids where you got 13 and they were better quality um so they're definitely not as high quality and you don't get as many of them as you did back in 2014 but they are a really nice thing to have and you don't get many artists kind of now doing these nice physical versions I think I think Taylor just has such a just such a special job with physical versions simply because people buy them people love it people love when you put effort into them because it's a nice thing to collect um and I'm really glad I got them obviously I do these videos and stuff and I collect them also to help you guys say if you just want to just want to get one and you're wondering which version to get I kind of show you everything there is to see about them so you can kind of make that decision uh, but I collect them just because I do you're not any less or any more of a fan because you've collected all four and there we go so that is 1989 Taylor's version the CDs with the Polaroids in so I will be doing an unboxing of the vinyl once they arrive unfortunately they've not arrived yet but I will definitely be doing an unboxing of that make sure to also check out my TikTok I'll be doing more 1989 TikToks over on TikTok um thank you so much for watching if you're new here make sure to like and subscribe I do lots of Taylor Swift videos if you've got any questions about any of these please let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Let me know what your favourite song from The Vault is. Um, right now, mine is Is It Over Now? It's just such a good song. But let me know in the comments what yours is. Thank you so much for watching this. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know if you're getting any of these CDs, which version you're getting, the vinyl, anything like that. Um, let me know if you like this video. Yeah, all the stuff. Um, thank you so much for watching. Once again, it, it means the absolute world to me that you will watch me unbox my Taylor Swift CDs and listen to me talk about Taylor Swift. It means a lot to me. Thank you so much. And as always, have a great day.